Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find equivalent fractions using fraction strips. Now remember, equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same amount. They represent the same part of a whole. In other words, equivalent fractions represent the same value. And then fraction strips are a tool we can use to help us when working with fractions. They help give us a visual of fractions. So let's use fraction strips to help us better understand equivalent fractions. Now here are the fraction strips that we are going to use in this video. We start with one whole and everything is based off of this whole rectangle. Then we have the whole rectangle divided into two equal parts, so halves. Then the rectangle is divided into three equal parts, so thirds, then four equal parts, so on and so forth, all the way down to 10 equal parts. Let's jump into number one, where we have two fraction strips, and we need to figure out the equivalent fractions here. We have one third is equivalent to how many sixths? So as far as the top fraction strip, we can see we have one whole rectangle divided into three equal parts. Each part is one third of the whole. Now only one part is shaded in, so this fraction strip is showing one third. So we have one third written out right here. For the fraction strip underneath, the whole rectangle has been divided into six equal parts. Each part is one sixth of the whole. Now two of the parts are shaded in. So this fraction strip is showing two sixths. Now notice, and this is really important, each fraction strip is representing the same amount of the whole rectangle, the same part of that whole rectangle. Both have the same amount shaded in, even though we have different fractions here, one third and two sixths. These are equivalent fractions and the fraction strips help us see that. Moving on to number two, we have one half is equivalent to how many eighths? Well, let's start with the top fraction strip. That whole rectangle has been divided into two equal parts. Each part is one half of the whole. One part is shaded in, so our fraction is one half. For the other fraction strip, the fraction strip below, it has been divided into eight equal parts. So each part is one eighth of the whole. Four parts are shaded in, so our fraction is four eighths. One half and four eighths are equivalent fractions, and we can see that with those fraction strips. Let's move on to some more examples. Let's take a look at number three, where we have a top fraction strip divided into eight equal parts, and six are shaded, so that's six eighths. That's going to be equivalent to how many fourths? Well, the bottom fraction strip is divided into four equal parts and three are shaded in. So six eighths is equivalent to three fourths. And we can see both fraction strips are showing the same amount, the same part of the whole rectangle. Six eighths and three fourths are equivalent. Moving on to number four, we have a top fraction strip divided into six equal parts, and three of those parts are shaded. So that fraction strip is showing three sixths, and that's going to be equivalent to how many eighths? Well, the fraction strip below has been divided into eight equal parts, and four are shaded. So three sixths is equivalent to four eighths. Moving on to number five, the top fraction strip, we have six equal parts there and four are shaded in. So that fraction strip is showing four sixths. And that's going to be equivalent to how many thirds? Well, the bottom fraction strip 
we have three equal parts and two are shaded in. So that's two thirds. Both fraction strips are showing the same amount, the same part of the whole rectangle. So four sixths and two thirds are equivalent. Lastly, let's move on to number six. The top fraction strip has four equal parts and two are shaded in. So that fraction strip is showing two fourths. That's going to be equivalent to how many halves? Well, the bottom fraction strip, two equal parts, one is shaded in, so that is showing one half. Two fourths and one half are equivalent fractions. So there you have it. There's how to find equivalent fractions using fraction strips. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.